Hey guys, if you're in, I went and I'm talking about the oh. PS5. Why? Because the CEO was talking about, I guess they call them cross generational games. What that means is when a game comes out for both the new generation system and the old generation system, just like you know how when Xbox One and PS4 came out, there were games that were both on the PS3 and the PS4 and the Xbox One and Xbox 360. And basically he said, I'm not gonna quote him, but they weren't really interested in that. And if, if the developers wanna make a game for the PS5, they want them just to focus on the PS5 so that can be the best version of the game basically. And here's the thing with that. I understand what he's saying from a technical standpoint, but from a consumer standpoint, that ain't the way to go in my opinion. So he's not really interested in making the PS5 games run on PS4 hardware. And that's good from a technical point of view, but from a consumer point of view, it's not. I mean, why do you think PC games are able to run on so many different types of PCs? Because the businesses know that people own a lot of different variants of power levels for their PC so that they can appeal to the widest range of consumers. And if the PS5 does this, this may be a bad step at launch because if a lot of different companies only making the games for the PS5 and they don't also make them for the PS4, they're gonna lose out on possibly over 100 million users who are playing their PS4s because not everybody's gonna run out and buy a PS5 at launch. And in fact, they can't even make that many PS5s, especially what probably went down with all those factories closing in China and whatnot, I think. So it doesn't make sense to me that you wouldn't also have these developers making PS4 versions of the game. Now, he didn't literally say that they're not, but he said he was uninterested and more so pointed out that he wants them to take full advantage of the PS5's hardware. So I'm not saying 100% sure that he's saying, no, we're not going to make the games also for PS4. I'm just saying if what he seems to be saying does happen, like at the reveal, if we're revealed that many of these games aren't coming to PS4, that's going to be a step in the wrong direction in my opinion because it takes about two to three years before a new console really cements itself with the consumers, I believe. So it makes sense for those two slash three years for games to come out on the old system that most people already own. So if Sony goes this direction, I think it'll be bad. And especially with Microsoft going in like the completely opposite direction. I think Microsoft already made that statement that like for the first year or two, there's not going to be a game on the Xbox Series X that isn't on the Xbox One, I believe. But only God really knows how this is going to turn out. We'll have to wait and see. What do you guys think about the CEO's comments? And do you think he really is saying that like games are going to be coming out to the PS5 that aren't also on the PS4, like at the beginning, like even at launch? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. May God bless you all.